Hello, welcome to this webinar on PSRC's Vision 2050. I'm Paul Ingram, the Director of Growth Management at the Puget Sound Regional Council, and I'm excited to tell you about the draft Vision 2050 plan for the Central Puget Sound Region and how you can provide your thoughts on the plan. PSRC is the federally designated metropolitan planning organization for the Central Puget Sound Region. PSRC works with cities, counties, ports, transit agencies, tribes, and others to guide long-range planning in the region. The region includes 82 cities and four counties from Seattle to small rural towns. Vision 2040 is the current long-range plan for the region that seeks to maintain a strong economy and healthy environment, preserve farms and forests, and focus growth within cities and urban centers. Vision 2040 was adopted in 2008 and is the starting point for Vision 2050. A lot has changed in the last decade. The goal for Vision 2050 is to incorporate new information, capture big changes, and update the policies and actions to reflect where the region wants to go. The region has grown a lot over the last decade, and the forecast shows for continued growth. The region is expected to grow to nearly 6 million people by 2050. In 2050, the region's population will also be older, more diverse, and in smaller households. This reflects long-term trends we've seen in the region. PSRC's Growth Management Policy Board started work on the Vision 2050 plan in 2017. Earlier this year, PSRC released an environmental analysis for the plan and the draft plan was just released. PSRC's General Assembly is scheduled to adopt the plan in 2020. The draft Vision 2050 plan has been shaped by what we've heard. In public comments and in a large survey of the region, people said they were concerned about rising housing costs, preserving the natural environment, and being a leader on reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Issues identified by the public are reflected in the draft and have been a top concern of PSRC's elected leadership working on developing the plan. I'll go into more detail on these themes. The plan includes goals, policies, and actions to guide regional and local planning decisions. The policies are grouped into nine major sections. Action steps identify how PSRC, local governments, and others will implement the plan. The draft plan includes a strategy to focus growth within cities and centers, to support growth near transit and services, and to avoid sprawl. The plan seeks to address housing choice and affordability by including policies and actions to promote more housing throughout the region, especially near transit, jobs and services, and to create more affordable housing types and choices. The plan seeks to address equity by including policies and actions to commit to equitable outcomes, create and retain living wage jobs throughout the region, and address the risk of displacement. The plan supports growth in centers and near transit, including a goal for 65% of the region's population and 75% of job growth to occur in regional centers and near planned high capacity transit. The plan seeks to preserve open space and farms by continuing to focus growth in urban areas and by implementing the Regional Open Space Conservation Plan. The plan seeks to keep the region moving by building and maintaining a comprehensive regional transportation system that supports all modes of travel and connects centers with high capacity transit. The plan also supports exploring new technology and planning for the next decade beyond 2040. The plan seeks to restore Puget Sound and implement the region's four-part greenhouse gas strategy to address climate change. A core part of PSRC is the collaboration that occurs among the region's cities, counties, and agencies. Vision 2050 supports coordination across jurisdiction, agencies, tribes, businesses, and other stakeholders and supports the local planning work of counties and cities. To make the plan a reality, it will be implemented through several, several ways, 
including PSRC data and guidance, local city and county plans, regional transportation funding, and other regional actions. Local governments implement Vision 2050 through their individual conference of plans and local projects. PSRC wants to hear your feedback during the 60-day public comment period, which ends September 16th. The Growth Management Policy Board is holding a public hearing at their September 5th meeting. The board will review comments this fall, and adoption of Vision 2050 is planned for the spring of 2020. Please share your thoughts on Vision 2050. Visit psrc.org vision and attend an event, explore the online open house, or read more on the PSRC blog. Thank you.